Borkham's head coach Thomas Reis was still waiting for a first point after the first four matches as they faced newly promoted Bremen for the first time in the top flight in 12 and a half years. The visitors had only lost once this season in the previous game, a 4-3 defeat to Europa League winners Eintracht Frankfurt. Nicholas Fulkrug on 22 minutes was trying to score the first goal of the game against Manuel Riemann, stopped brilliantly, and then Nicholas Schmidt in the starting 11 for the first time this term in search of his second Bundesliga goal. A terrific strike coming off the post. A minute before the half-time whistle, Bochum almost grabbed an opener, but usually Pavlenka was at hand with a big hand to save against Philipp Furster. Werder Bremen had only lost one of their last 12 away games in all competitions, but Borkham thought they'd taken the lead with 80 minutes played. What would have been a debut Bundesliga goal for Philipp Hoffmann was quite rightly disallowed after being reviewed due to a Hoffmann elbow getting the ball over the line. A delectable cross from Mitchell Weiser, just four minutes remaining in the game, gave Niklas Fulkrug the opportunity. And he took it magnificently with a devastating diving header to put the visitors in the lead. He's fourth of the season. And once again, Bremen was scoring goals late on in the game. And it got better for them a minute into added time. A penalty awarded after a clumsy challenge from Lampropoulos. An upstep full Krug to do the honours again. Five goals in five matches and beating penalty killer Manuel Riemann. In the sixth minute of added time, Borkham were denied another goal. And again, this time the goal denied for an offside position. Coming from Hoffmann. Niklas Fulkrug, the match winner. A fifth straight defeat for Borkham and another win for Bremen. 2-0.